Hi, this is Steph from Flow Motion Golf. So today I'd like to share with you a following up story about how to become creative around the green. So the last one we talk about how to use the golf club, the tool differently to change the height of your ball flight. So remember when I was like this, changing the loft, I obviously changed the trajectory of the ball. Just to remind you, a standard position. I have now a sand wedge in my hand. So a standard position is club behind the ball and the butt of the club one ball forward because the, the conception of the club is uh, made leaning forward. So the, this is a standard position, one ball forward. The, the low one was take the loft out of the configuration and reset yourself to have your hands always in front of your sternum. So this is the setup for the low shot and the high one obviously go this way and as you can see again my hands are facing my sternum. Obviously I need to have my weight left but my weight on the left side but this is another point. At the moment I'd like to share with you how to organize the three different release regarding these three families. So, for the first one, let's start for the, uh, the lowest one, which is the, for me, the easiest one. So, if I start with the low one, the lowest one, I will start this way. And when I will swing the weight of the club, as you remember, obviously, releasing the club on the lowest shot family, I will not let the club overtake the line formed by my left arm. So, if you can see that with this line, for example, this is to visualize the left arm line. If I start in a setup low, in a low family, I will go this way. And as you can see now, the club, the club head is not overtaking the line formed by my left arm. So overtaking rate zero, even less than zero for the low one. For the standard one, I will let the club head overtake slightly the line from my left arm. So I leave my wrist very soft. I just leave the inertia of the club, just take the, uh, just overtake my left arm line, line. And obviously, if I want to make the high one, as you can see, I will start with the club head far ahead here, my hands backwards. And finally, when I will release, as you can see now, I will have a big release moment. So if I resume, if I summarize, Low one, no overtaking rate. Standard, let the club a little bit overtake your left line arm. And high one, leave the club just full overtaking you. So let's see that now with the ball. And let's start with the standard, standard shot. So I've got a sand wedge in my hand. The situation is nearly 25, 22 yards not a very long one and standard just have the butt here one ball in front of the ball my hands facing me now I just need to define which will be the right size of the swing the weight of the club to go from this point to this point and I think if I go if I take a small one it's going to be too slow too small and if I take the big one, it's going to be too big. So let's start with a, a big, small or a small medium. In my head, I just need now to put the release. So I will let the club face overtake my left arm line. So let's go for it. Standard, medium, a, a small medium. Get in. Oh, 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 oh. So that was really nice just to start with. And as you can see, it's not that difficult when you set up your mind to make a specific 
skill task, it's going to be easier and easier and more and more efficient. So you can see that from the back video, the back camera, that was standard, quite high. It's a 58 degrees, which is normal. So let's go now with a low one. So let's go low, but I don't want to go too low because there is a, some rough here, a very thick one. So if I go too low, I will be eaten by the rough. So let's do not too low, but let's stay in the lowest family here. As you can see, my hands always facing my sternum. Now, again, I'm just asking myself, what, what is the size? Small, medium, large? It's a, a big, small. And I will focus on don't let the club overtake my left, left line arm. So let's go for it. Very good. Very good. I take that every day. That was low, the right size. And as you can see now, the club didn't take, didn't overtake the left arm, the left arm line. From behind, you can see that I'm not there also. The club is still more or less in front of me. The third one, the high one, the one I'm not give, I'm, I don't advise you to make the high one unless you are obliged. Because I think the high one is the, one of the most difficult, but let's make it just for the demo. I will put the club adding some loft. Reset to have my hands always facing the sternum. And now I will define the size, so which will be the right size. Obviously, to make an elevation, I need to have loft and speed. Speed is the major assessment to make the ball travel high. So it can't be small, can't be medium, it's more or less a big medium. So let's go for it with a big release here. So as you can see, my release is 100%. I can't go further than this. I am not flipping, I'm just releasing the club after impact or not. So to summarize, the low one, no overtaking rate. The standard one, little bit of overtaking rate, and the high one, a big one, overtaking rate. Enjoy with that. Just make sure that you are defining the right size and the right family using now the right release. And don't forget, be happy, be flow, and enjoy life. Play golf. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.